welcome back. Um, sorry for the delay between videos, but I've been a bit busy. I moved my 92 year old mum down in November and discovered there's quite a few jobs to do in the house to make it even livable. Now we're gradually getting through that, time starts to free up a little bit, so I thought I'll crack on and do a video. And someone requested to look at doing scatter swamps. Like scatter terrain bits, you need to be swamp terrain. So let's get to the table and crack on with it. Right, so let's get started. I've done a little bit beforehand. So all I've done is taken an old CD, maybe a little bit of scoring on the other side, and then I've glued on some fake um, fur. This is just using multi purpose glue, just keeping it a thin layer just so um, it doesn't stick up through and pin the fur. So, first job will be is to cut around it. Right, we've got a pair of scissors, I've just started, so you come in and just work your way around. I'm cutting it back slightly from the edge. This does get messy, this fur does get everywhere. Let's try and keep it in the middle so you can see what's going on. If you cut a rough shape beforehand, it doesn't really matter because you're still going to end up doing this. Better already. So next thing we're gonna need some clippers and to get in here and start pulling it about. Right, I grabbed a little clipper. This is the little clipper you use for tidying up around your ears and things. So let's get into it. So I just want to come around the edge a bit first. Get this in there. Tough out. Just pin it down in places. So you can just put it right there. I wouldn't mind getting a bit of water in the middle. Just so I to get this right back to the weave. Like that. Just sort of patch it a little bit. I'm not thinking about it, I'm just hacking it. Yeah, just hack it about a little bit. You take some lengths off as well in places, so they go right down, just give it a little bit of variation. Yeah, that should probably do. Just a little bit off here, just a bit more variation there. Right, there you go. So there's proof why I'm not a hairdresser. So obviously it's the wrong colour, so let's get some colours together and get cracking on with it. Grabbed a plate and wax some greens on it, some flesh colours, like some cream, there's a bit of okra. I'm going to use this to colour in. So I'm just going to see what's going on. Pot of water there. So I'm going to start with some dark green, dab it in. Don't even bother washing the brush out. Bit of that. Bit of this. Bit of that one. There we go. Just grab a comb. Get a mix it out. So this will get messy. So you see you're going to need a lot more colours and paint to go in it. So yeah, I'll grab some more of this as well. Uh, uh, so you see, I love this sort of painting. Just don't think about it. Just 
working on, it's a good thing, it's sort of natural painting, all sort of grass here, stuff like that. Working. You know, that looks absolutely disgusting and horrible. Yeah, 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 but it's fun. Right, so. Let's keep going on it. And off we go again. Some more dark colours in around here. Don't worry about the middle. I'm gonna hit that with some earth. Work the paint into the base. Add a bit of water if you need to. Don't worry about your paints mixing, obviously, because they're all mixing anyway. Just keep going. Into the fire underneath. And get a comb again. Probably be happy to go with that. I think that looks quite decent. So I'll go and grab some earth paint and we'll fill in some bits. Right. Get some out of the way. I've just grabbed some of our texture paint we've made in previous videos. And I'm just going to slap, I want to slap some of this in the middle. So this could be, need a bit of watering down to get it in here actually. So I'll grab some water. I bet the colours might be into it. It's got to be quite thin. Over the weave, I want to get rid of that weave pattern. Just pull it about around the edge a little bit. There we go. Tidy that up afterwards. Just work our way around the edge. Grab some water and then just pull this back a bit along the edges so it just models in. There you go. Along the edge. Use it to soak down into the fur. Going. Right, let's tidy this up a bit so and a bit more. Stain chips in there. So all we got to do now is leave that to dry for half an hour. You can pull the fur about a little bit if you're not happy with it before it sets, you can. 
I get this to go down a little bit. Look, there we go. Right, once this is dried, or fairly dried, I'm just going to grab some two part epoxy. And then just put it down. Oh, this is good. These are meant to distribute evenly. As you can tell, it doesn't work. Give it a little pull back, that's the main thing to remember. And shove your end on. There we go. So I'm going to grab a little bit of ink. Right, I'm going to grab some ink. Very little. Cupper out of the way and give it a mix. Thank you. Right now, I'll try and do put this in here. Scrape it. Don't need loads. Hopefully this will be enough when it levels out. Like that. Get about a little bit if you want. We haven't got quite puddle look. Just tease it. Sort of moving itself anyway, just being impatient. Doesn't go right to the edge, don't worry about it. You can always hit it with some Mod Podge gloss. And we'll leave that to dry. Right, once it's fairly dry, preferably the soil part dry, just grab some cream paint and give it a light, get some more paint out of that. Dry, wash around. Too fussy. It's dumping a bit wet, I think. So much of that in, doesn't really matter. Get rid of that solid colour. A bit of fluff, yeah, a bit of fluff. There we go. Just a bit of variance around the outside. Yeah, that's that done. So we'll set the camera up and have a chat. Right, there you have it. Let's pick this up, let's see if we can see it. Yeah. I think that's come out quite nice. I'll do some pics at the end as I normally do. This is done very quick, very cheap. If you've got more time, chuck more colours at the grass. Have some purples and reds, blues, anything. Have fun with that. When you come up with a style and a colour you like, it's just a matter of spending the time working it in. But for a very quick piece of terrain, I'm quite happy with that. And I hope it gives you some ideas to work off. Um... What's happening in the future? Well, I'm going to probably aim to do a video a month at the moment before going back to doing a video a week while we try and sort mum out over the summer. I'm sorry the audio's not a bit off and the video's not perfect this time. I'm playing with a new setup in the five minutes I get here and there. Hopefully we'll hone things in and get everything just right for you. So that's me. 
I'm going to sign off, crack on with something else, and I'll see you all soon. Thank you for watching. Bye.